outside, Petita Vander of New Zealand tries for the lead, moving out of the middle of the track is Doringo of Italy for the lead. From the outside, Hillian Brouillard of France up third. They move around the uh, first turn in the stretch. On the inside with the lead is Doringo of Italy. They straighten out and come for the quarter pole. Doringo of Italy leads it by a little more than a length. Along the inside, Petita Vander of New Zealand is second. Parked on the outside, Hillian Brouillard of France is third. At the real RB Jet is fourth. Classical Way moving fifth. That's Cold Comfort and the early trailer is Ideal Du Gazelle. They're by the quarter pole in 30 seconds even. Down the back stretch the first time. Doringo of Italy off stride. Doringo of Italy is in a break. But Tita Vander of New Zealand has the lead. On the outside, Hillian Brouillard makes an early move to challenge now for the lead. They approach the half-mile pole. That's Petita Vander and Hillian Brouillard on the outside. Heads apart for the lead. RB Jet of Canada third. Classical way of the United States moving on the outside fourth. They're by the half in one, one, and four. Around the paddock turn along the inside with that lead is Petita Vander of New Zealand. Hillian Brouillard of... France on the outside is second, RB Jet of Canada third. Classical Way is fourth. Cold Comfort and the trailer, Ideal Du Gazelle. They are at the three-quarter pole, showing the way along the inside is Petita Vander of New Zealand with Eddie Dunnigan driving. The outside, Hillian Brouillard is second at the rail. That's RB Jet third. Classical Way, the outside fourth. Cold Comfort fifth. Ideal Du Gazelle, the trailer, is Doringo. They've gone three quarters and 134 flat. Down the back stretch for the final time. Along the inside, it's still Petita Vander with the lead. Hillian Brouillard of France on the outside is second up the rail. RB Jet of Canada third. Classical way of the United States moving on the outside fourth. On the extreme outside, Ideal Du Gazelle of France and on the, on the inside, Cole Comfort. The mild time was two minutes, five and three-fifth seconds. They move around the final turn along the inside with that lead is Petita Vander. Closing from the far outside is Classical Way of the United States. They come to the top of the stretch. Classical Way and Johnny Simpson, Jr., Petita Vander battle, heads apart for the lead. They drive for the wire. Classical Way on the outside is going to win the Roosevelt International Trot. Well, when you breed a Hambletonian winner like Kerry Way to a Hambletonian and international winner like Speedy Scott, well, I guess you hope for exactly what... August 16th, 1980. It's the 1980 Roosevelt International against a top-flight field that includes the French horse, Adi de Gozo, the American trotter, Classical Way, takes the lead on the outside, and with John Simpson Jr. in the bike, Pulls away through the home stretch. Classical Way wins the 1980 Roosevelt International. The third consecutive year, an American horse captures this classic. Adida Gozo is leading in the Challenge Cup, but the French horse breaks stride going to the final turn, losing out to Classical Way once again. Tonight, it's the 1981 edition of this prestigious race, the Roosevelt International. Adida Gozo is back again with another French superstar trotter, Jorky, so the French racing faction is favored to put an end to the three-year reign of the United States in the Roosevelt International.